Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. So in this video, I'm going to be looking at the latest updates on the play date. I've got a few new games as well I'm going to look through. Some I've bought from the catalogue, from the latest update, and some I've downloaded from uh, itch.io as well. Okay guys, something also I wanted to start with is the excellent updates you get on email from Panic. And they usually give you an update maybe every month with all the latest games that have been released on their system. Um, and there's a good selection of games there and they also include some videos as well, which is really cool. And they've been very busy, no doubt about it, through the last few weeks. And obviously this year, um, I think they've done a great job uh, in providing a lot of decent updates to the Playdate device. There's certainly been a lot of good games released on the Playdate recently. This is Under the Castle and it looks fantastic. Some of these games are a little bit too expensive uh, for me, um, so it's hard to say which games to buy and which to not. So I'm not going to buy every single game uh, that is on the catalogue, that is just impossible. But I have purchased a few games that I'll play at the end of the video. And this is just some video highlights from Playdate's own up update that they provide every few weeks uh, of the latest titles that have landed on to the catalogue. There's some really interesting stuff, also some dungeon crawlers there as well under the tree and also a kind of Christmas style theme game called Christmas Catastrophe um, which is based on a, an earlier Game Boy game. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is look through all the games in the last few weeks in detail. Now this first one, Mars After Midnight, is not actually released yet. This one is coming soon and it looks really interesting. Um, looking at the graphics there, it really does look pretty cool. So hopefully we'll get that one at some point uh, early in 2024. But the latest updates, there are some really cool games. This one is called Kuruby. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this one's $6, uh, plus tax obviously. And it looks like it's a shooter of some sorts. Not really my type of game at all, but graphically it does look really nice. Uh, so that's there if you're interested in that one. Looks pretty cool. Now there's also Dash Arena, which I'm not really sure what type of game this is. Let's have a look at it. I honestly can't tell you what's going on here at all. Looks very interested. I guess you're trying to clear the screen of these slimy things, blobs, whatever it is. But I'm not really sure exactly what's going on here. But this one is only $2 if you're interested in that. Looks pretty cool. Now this one, this is Luna Lander. Now, obviously, it's very much, um, if you recall, the Atari Lunar Lander game, uh, which was pretty cool. So it's kind of a like that. Now, at the time of this video, the game is currently unavailable. Not entirely sure why. Um, it's been removed. It was available, I think, a couple of days ago when it was launched, um, but it's been removed for some reason. However, you can still download it from itch.io if you're interested. Um, I think it was about $5, if I'm right, plus tax. Um, but it looks really cool. It's obviously like Lunar Lander, you're trying to capture the rabbits, take them back to your base and, and then keep going without getting any damage. I'm really enjoying that one. I will play this one in this video. It is really cool. Not entirely sure why it was removed from the catalogue or maybe it's just a temporary issue that they're trying to fix that it will be available by the time this video is up. But this one is very, very good. Also, another game I'm going to be looking at in the, this video is Waterflow. And this one was only a couple of dollars and I was really enjoying this one. So the idea is basically to um, connect the water flow from one end to the other, uh, as you can see in the video down here, uh, by obviously manipulating the squares. Um, and it's really cool. I was really enjoying this one, but it is very, very tricky. 50 challenging levels. This one you won't finish in a hurry. Um, but I was enjoying this. This is very good. And only for a couple of dollars, you really can't beat it. One for Christmas, I'm guessing. This is Trickle Greenwood, Mermaid at Law, and Christmas Catastrophe. What a mouthful for a game. Wow. Now, this is $6. Not entirely sure what uh, type of game it is. It looks kind of like a RPG style game, I think. Not entirely sure. It was originally re released for the Game Boy, and it's been ported to the Playdate with greatly enhanced graphics. Interesting stuff. So, we've also got Under the Tree. And this one's $12, so this one's pretty pricey. Personally, I'm never really that keen on paying for a game um, on the Playdate as much as that, unless I know it's actually decent. That's quite a lot of money for a Playdate game. Um, and it's difficult to know if these games are worth it. There's a lot of effort, obviously, went into this game. The graphics look really, really nice. 
Not entirely sure what type of game. It looks kind of a, like a dungeon crawler, maybe. Looking at that, not entirely sure, but that looks pretty interesting. Okay, we've also got the Tiny Tester. Spanish Conjugations. <laughs> Tough to say. And this one's $5. Not really sure what's going on here. Are you learning Spanish and want more practice? I guess that might be for a select bunch of people, but personally, not really for me. Okay, we've got Mega Dystopia Micro Architect, or MDMA for short. This looks interesting. This one's $6. And not sure, you're obviously trying to design some sort of metropolis. Not sure, I guess it's my type of thing at all, but if you like that type of strategy style, Sim City style game, I guess that's maybe for you. But personally, mm, I'm not sure. On a tiny screen, I'm not sure these type of games are going to work that well. But it's $6 if you're interested. Okay, another game we're going to be looking at in this video is Osbruch. Not sure if I've said that right. Um, I'm assume, assuming, or well, nearly said assuming. I'm assuming this is German, maybe. Not totally clear. But this one is a little bit like a breakout style game. Literally, I guess you're trying to break out of prison, uh, trying to utilise the super breakout style uh, mechanics inside the game. This one's pretty cool. I'm going to try this in the video and let you know my opinions of the game. But it does look pretty cool. Okay, we've also got a ghost in the gallery. This one is... Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. It's a, explore the art gallery like never before. Interesting. Graphically looks pretty nice, I guess, but I'm not really sure what type of game this is. Anyway, this one is available for $3, so pretty reasonable price. Now we've got Under the Castle. This one certainly was the, the last update. A couple of weeks ago, this one was certainly pushed. Uh, and this one's $10. And it's a kind of an RPG dungeon style crawler. A rogue style, infinite dungeon style, vanquish all the enemies, gather the orbs of light. That type of thing if you're interested in that. Not really my type of thing either, but it does look very good. It's an action RPG of the title out there and it's $10 if you're interested. This one looks pretty decent for the money. Okay, we've also got Crank and Shoot. This one's $5. And I'm guessing hopefully this does utilise the crank. Now, not every game does utilise the crank. Um, sometimes it's used very well, other times it's not even used at all. Ideally, I'd like to see games use it, but when it makes the game too tricky, I guess, uh, it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. But this one, hmm, not sure it looks if it's worth $5 for me. Uh, we've also got Steamroller. This looks like a whack-a-mole style game, I'm guessing. $3, go around the grid there, um, I guess trying to get rid of all the moles. That looks fun. I guess this is the type of thing that the, the, the sort of play date should be perfect for. Enjoy 50 levels um, of this. Pretty cool. Another game I'm going to try in the video is F Out. Uh, this one was only a couple of dollars. I'm guessing it's kind of a trying to utilise the Wipeout style game, but um, looking at the graphics, they're obviously very simplified. And there's two game modes, six tracks and nine ships. So we'll give this one a quick bash in the video. And I'll we'll let you know my feelings and if it's any good and worth buying. We've also got four track. It looks like you're a, a kind of golf game and you're inside a tank. Not sure what's going on here. Graphically it looks a little bit rough. But yeah, this was a concept originated as Bulond Panzer Dr Golf. I nearly said Panzer Dragon. <laughs> On the Sharp X8, X68000, interesting Japanese personal workstation with many great games. Now this one definitely surprised me, I thoroughly enjoyed this one. This is Root Beer and this one uses the crank. It's only $3 and you're trying to um, pour the perfect pint within a minute and as many perfect pints in the minute as you possibly can. It's a kind of a high score hunt challenge. You can probably swap your play date um, to your wife, husband, son, kid, whatever, uh, and you can have a challenge and a bit of a laugh through Christmas. It is good fun, uh, and for uh, the money, $3, it's definitely worth it. It is a good laugh, and it utilises that crank really well. I will play this in the video uh, very soon. Okay, we've also got Nightingale. There's been quite a lot of games released in the last four weeks, which is pretty impressive. Not sure this looks kind of like an adventure style game. Adventure puzzle game as it's titled there. Looks a little bit rough, but 
hmm, that sounds interesting. Only takes about one to two hours to complete, but at least it is only three dollars, so it's not going to break the bank. Okay, also we've got um, Choo Choo Mimic. This is the Playdish, the Playdate version of Choo Choo Mim Mimic, which was also released on the NES and Evercade very recently. We got a chance to play this on the Evercade Game of the Month. It will be on Indie Heroes Collection 3, February 2024. Um, but this is the Playdate version and it's $9. Um, there's a lot of levels, I guess there's a hundred levels um, to play through. It is a tricky, tricky game. And the idea is obviously to guide the knight to the, the Mimic uh, treasure chest. Um, and it's very hard. It does get harder. I'm not sure these games work that great on the smaller screen to be honest. But low-tech games have produced some really top drawer games. And that's there if you're interested for $9. Okay, we've also got Yo Yo Zo. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. This one's eight dollars, and this one looks pretty cool. Looks like it's been well designed. Um, hopefully, utilising the crank, I guess, by looking at the screenshots there. Easy to pick up, hard to put down. They say here. Interesting stuff. Okay, next up is Yud Building. I probably haven't pronounced that correctly. This is a rhythm style game. Hmm. Yeah, that looks interesting. So you can use the crank here as well, which is pretty cool. Not sure that's my type of thing, not going to deny that. It's only $3 if you're interested in that game. It's a rhythm style game with sounds. There's something that's good about the Playdate. The sounds are fantastic from it. Now next up we've got Pool Frog. Now this game, I don't think it's out yet. This is coming soon. It will release quarter one, 2024. It's a puzzle action style game. And obviously you can tell by looking at the graphics here, it's a little bit like Tetris. Um, but you've got a frog there pulling the blocks into place with his lovely long tongue. Absolutely cool. Love the idea of that. That might be pretty cool for the play date. I'm looking forward. I'll probably try that one when it gets released. Hopefully in the first quarter of 2024. Now last game before we try some of the game. We've got Sound Mind. And this is coming soon as well on 2024. Look at the graphics in that. Absolutely fantastic. Great design. I'm assuming that's sometimes a strategy RPG style game. Ah, that looks really cool. Interesting stuff. And obviously utilising the crank here by opening chests. Something to look forward to next year. This is Sound Mind. Graphically, it looks very impressive indeed. Now guys, that's all the games that have been released in the last few weeks. We have covered Space Rap Miner in the previous videos, Blockbuster, Ship Shape, and a few others, Eleanor Temple. Yeah, but there's been lots of good stuff released recently. Now, don't forget, you can also look on itch.io, there are tons of games on there. Um, a lot of the games you will find are here as well as on the catalogue or in the Playdate sort of game store. But there's a lot of games on here that are not included for some reason, so it's certainly something you should keep aware of. You can download some of these games for free, you can pay a few dollars, and then you can sideload them onto your Playdate. It's very, very easy to do. I would certainly recommend to have a good look through this um, itch.io site. Fantastic stuff. There's tons and tons and tons of games already available for your playdate. Um, looks like there's now 700 plus games on the itch.io store, which is fantastic. It's certainly more supported than I ever thought it would. But anyway guys, without further ado, let's play some of the games that we've been looking at in this video. So this is root uh, beer, obviously you're trying to pour the perfect beer to the point indicated there, utilising the crank, and I have to say this is probably the most fun I've had on a play date game yet. I really enjoyed it, very simple, you've got a full minute to do this and you're basically just trying to get as much money as possible by getting close, as close to that line as you possibly can, and then do it all again. So a little bit of a high score chaser type of thing, but what a lot of fun I had with this. I think it's a fantastic game, and it only is a couple of dollars on the catalogue uh, game store. Excellent stuff, I would highly recommend this, it is good fun. Thank you. 
Hell yeah. So initially I was quite enjoying this game, but the slow pace of the game um, sort of didn't help to be honest. I'm not sure if you can actually change the speed of the ball, but I got a little bit bored. Um, even though the idea is really good, it's, it's working really well. You can either use the D-pad or the buttons or even the crank to control um, obviously the bat thing, but I felt it was just a little bit too boring for me. So the idea of this game is pretty straightforward, you're really just trying to manipulate the water flow to get from one end to the other, however it is very very tough, it will probably take a good few goes on each level till you get the right route, um, but I was enjoying it, it is pretty good and it's only a couple of dollars so it's not going to break the bank, um, and I would certainly recommend it if you like your puzzle style gaming. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. So this is F out, a bit of a cross between F0 and Wipeout. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any other competitors, so you're basically just racing against yourself, which does get a lot bit boring. It's probably more interesting uh, taking part in the time trials instead, but it's certainly well done. Uh, the controls are pretty tight, uh, and I enjoyed it for what it is. I just felt it was a bit disappointing uh, that there was no other racers to compete against.
3, 2, 1, go. Warning. New high score. So you are some sort of alien in a lunar lander trying to collect rabbits on each level. Yep, it's absolutely crazy bonkers, but the controls are so tight and it's well done. I thoroughly enjoyed playing this one. Uh, and this is the type of game I uh, enjoy playing on my play date. Uh, and I think this will be well received out there. I think it's fantastic. Unfortunately, as I said earlier in the video, it doesn't seem to be activated on the play date catalog store for some reason. It, it was initially, then it got removed and it's currently shown as unavailable. Hopefully that will get sorted very soon. But in the meantime, you can actually buy it for the same price on itch.io if you don't want to wait. Uh, Till it's available on the store. I would highly recommend this game, it is fantastic, really well done. So the idea of this game is to match up each of the shapes um, with this kind of stream flow. Um, you also have to make sure you cover every single square on the grid as well before you can move on to the next level. An absolutely brilliant, devious, sometimes puzzler and I love this type of game and I would recommend it.
So this is quite clearly a Tetris style game and it's very relaxing to actually play through. The music and sounds are fantastic, really well done, which is something that's quite apparent in a lot of the games in this video. The music, sounds are all excellent. Some great games in this video as well, some I've thoroughly enjoyed playing. I think it's been a good few months for the play date, no doubt about it, and let's hope 2024 there's some more quality games released too. Thanks very much for watching our video, catch you again in the next one, bye for now.